After being retrenched by KCM in 2015, he came to settle in Kindu area of Chongwe district for a strategic purpose of doing business. Fred Kayombo, born blind for seven years ago, used his terminal benefits to purchase a second-hand electric hammer mill, which he installed in the area. Every morning, he walks a distance of more than one kilometer from his house to his new working place at the hammer mill. When he enters his office, he does the routine maintenance works before he could start grinding people's maize. Safety is not a compromise to Kayombo, who works alone. He always opens the hammer mill to make sure that all parts are well and intact before he could start business on that particular day. Injuries are not exceptional, but are part of the normal business for Kayombo, who has no option but to service his machine, which he has never seen before. Kayombo has known his machine very well, such that some people who do not know that he is blind since his birth may think he is able to see. Maintenance works are now done. It's now time to put on the headgear to protect the ears from the flying milly mill. He is now looking for a rubber to fasten the bag to the machine where mill mill would be dropping from. He has to do his final adjustments to all the components before he could put the maize grain in the base in readiness for the grinding. Now it's time to get to business and the grinding is going on. And he is able to pick maize from the bucket to the milling machine. Knowing his machine very well, his mind is on this pipe, knowing that Milimil could be spilling, and he tries to fix it well before he could get back to the grinding business of playing with maize. He is done with the first client, and he has to switch off the machine to give them their bag so that he could also get his money. He gets a 10 kwacha note and gives back the correct change of 7 kwacha, 15 gwe, as if he is able to see. Emson Tembo of Mafungo area is now ready to take Milimil to his family. For me, I say that I say that people you know my money is afraid. Yeah. For me, I'm a passive mungu. For me, I'm out. I'm a zero. For me, I'm a passive mungu. Yeah. I'm going to pay the government to say on a party. I'm going to go to seven. Sara Sinoya is appreciating the initiative by Mr. Kayombo to install a hammer mill in the area, saying that it has cut off the costs of going to buy mill mill in Chongwe town. She has described Mr. Kayombo as an amazing man. Another client, Sarah Hajinda says though she is happy and satisfied with Kayombo's works, she sympathizes with him because he does his work alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kono <laughs> Kayombo, the father of four sons, has explained that he vowed never to beg on the streets due to his disability. He says he is doing other businesses, such as the supplying of empty bags to farmers and buying of maize from small-scale farmers to resell to the food reserve agency in order to manage his family. He has appealed to other physically challenged persons to fight for their lives without looking at their disabilities. Kwe sakanya ne vyo na umvine kuiva anse. Mi amina anse mekerewe vyo nkavino. Andi na jingatu completely kwa jingaka fwako na nguwa kacheche. Pano 
lesa byanji otherwise bantu ajireko kipatira bamparako bamparako batiki moto na semekerwe sambura kumona byonka vino his wife inonge kashweka says her husband is now working towards other economic projects that would benefit the local people in the area people of this area now are not even concerned about knowing the price of mealy meal because the hammer meal installed by Kayombo has eased and reduced the cost of living for their families. At the end of the busy working day, Kayombo is now able to sing, praising God, knowing well that he has put food in the homes of many people in the area. Indeed, you can agree to the saying that disability is not inability because while other retrenchees were crying foul and protesting, Kayombo was busy making money and improving the lives of people. Justin Kawisha, reporting from Chongwe.